In his essay, Self-Reliance, Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote, let us affront and reprimand the smooth mediocrity and squalid contentment of the times, urging us to think and act genuinely and with integrity. Today, Emerson's message resonates louder than ever. Resources are dwindling and energy costs are rising, but we believe architecture has the potential to end irresponsible energy consumption, waste management, and food production, and create a comfortable, sustainable environment. Our design is practical, shaped by the needs of a family of four. It is durable, with local materials like the maple floor and the slate counter. It is environmentally responsive, with large southern glazing, allowing for natural daylight and a connection to the outdoors. And it is simple, revealing the home's construction and excluding unnecessary adornment. We began our design process by looking to the past. Vermont's natural and agrarian landscape inspired us to incorporate systems to grow food and take advantage of local resources. The simplicity and sustainability of the traditional New England farmhouse gave us a framework for the future. We adopted its gable form which maximizes space while shedding rain and snow. It also provides an ideal angle for a solar array. Traditional craft and local materials are integral to the success of our design and make self-reliance comfortable and familiar. We designed and constructed furniture with local craftsmen whose techniques have been passed down for generations. They worked with us to create unadorned, sturdy pieces from local wood, and high recycled content steel. We harvested sugar maple from the Middlebury College Forest for our continuous floor that runs up the east and west walls to create a unified interior space. We use local white oak for our decking that is naturally rot and insect resistant. Our slate floor and countertop were also quarried and fabricated in Vermont. This beautiful natural material provides the necessary durability for high traffic areas of our home. Our home moves away from the unnecessary excesses that detach us from our energy sources, food, and environment. We learned from our regional traditions and worked to inspire a comfortable reintegration back into the Vermont landscape. Our hope is that self-reliance will continue to forge this connection.